Hello there. In this session, we're going to understand the deep dive into the parallelism. So to do that, this is your organization div org. Now I'm going to click on organization settings on the left. When we do that here on the below, you see the parallel jobs on the pipelines. We just need to click here and it remember it is coming under the organization settings not at project settings so if you open the project we will have the project settings so that is different but the parallelism concept is applicable at a organization level or you say at a company level so that's why we choose organization settings here and once you do that you will be seeing a parallel job so you need to click here the parallel jobs so once you do that you will see the limits like we were discussing earlier so for Microsoft hosted agent, we have one parallel jobs free, like every organization, they will give you one parallel jobs and 1800 minutes will be there. And if you see, I have already consumed 24 minutes. So if it crosses 1800 minutes, then I will no longer be able to use the Microsoft hosted agents. So that's what 1800 minute is free given to you. If it goes beyond that, it won't allow and we have to maybe purchase or wait for the month to complete because every month they will give 1800 build minutes. Now you will be thinking, hey, what is the build minutes? Just to explain, I'll open a new tab, open this organization and open, let's say, this pipeline. Let's open this pipeline. So you see here the build minutes, like here it ran for 40 seconds. So clubbing all these, it can only give 1800 minutes for the pipeline to run so here this is what it is telling that the minutes this is how you will calculating at an organization level so this organization div org has consumed 24 minutes for this month that already so i have only 1800 minutes for the whole month okay likewise for the self-hosted agents meaning the agent which we have configured they also provide one parallel jobs so if you want your pipeline to run parallelly, like simultaneously, then we need to purchase the parallel jobs. Yeah, same with the self-hosted agent. We need, to, we need to purchase it if you have that requirement to run the multiple pipelines at the same time. So this is for a private project, okay? So the, for private project, only one pipeline can run through, okay? But for a public project, you can have... 10 parallel jobs at the same time, which is free. And for self-hosted agent, it's unlimited. You can run any number of pipelines at any given point. For private agent, sorry, private project, this rule supply that you will get 1800 minutes, one only, one parallel job. So that is only one pipeline can run. And once other complete, then only the other will go. To demonstrate this concept, let us go to this organization and open our project under here we'll go to the pipelines and yeah just to show you click on we'll click on the project settings here i wanted to show you this is a private project okay so what do we mean by private project is that it only has the possibility to run one parallel job or one pipeline at a time so i'll go here and i'll open this pipeline and just run this pipeline Okay, I run this. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this pipeline again just to show you that it will be waiting. It will not run it. It will wait for the first one to complete. So if you see, it is queued. It is not running. Why it is not running? The reason is simple because I have only one parallel job. See, it is running. Once this pipeline gets completed, this will run. Okay, so let us queue a couple of more. So I'm just explaining you this concept so that you have the understanding of the parallelism. So I'm running this pipeline continuously just to show you only one will run. All the other pipeline will be in the queue state. The reason is because I have only one parallel jobs. So only one pipeline can go through. And now see, you see, it is completed. Now this will run. See, it started running. Once this gets completed, this. So it's a one by one. The 
pipeline will be completing one by one in this case. Then first this will complete, then this will run, then this will complete, this will run. Because I have only one parallel jobs and it is a private project. Right. So once this complete, this will run. So that's how it the flow will be. So if you see the project settings, I have a private project. And as per the settings, I mean, if you go to the, I mean, the project, let's click here and go to the organization settings. In this private project, we have the parallel jobs. And for the parallel jobs, we can have only one free parallel job for us for a private project, right? So that's why uh, we can only have one more. See, it, it's now completed. Now this is running. All other pipeline, if you see the message for this one, it says, hey, it is waiting. The agent request is not running because all potential agents are running other request, current position one. Because all the agents which we have is being acquired is an already in use. So that's why it is waiting. So if you see this one is also waiting and you see the current position queue is two. So as long as you are running the pipeline, it will still be waiting in the waiting state. Because due to the fact we have only one parallel jobs with us. Now let's do something. I mean, let's change one setting. I'll go to this project on which we are doing the stuff. I'll go to the project settings and I'll change the visibility to public this time. Okay. And save this. Now it is a public project. So if you, if you see for the public project, if you go here, go to the parallel jobs and we open it. So for the public project, we have 10 parallel jobs with us for private. It is one for public. We have 10. So now let it complete. So now what I'll do, I will queue the pipeline again and again, run the pipeline. Now it became a private project, sorry, public project. Now I'll run this here. So you see continuously pipelines are running. You, you see the difference. Because it is a pipeline, you, uh, because it's a 10, 10 jobs can run at the same time. Now you see every pipeline is running because I am having now a public project. That's the reason. I'm just continuously running the pipeline just to show you the difference because now it became a public project. So when it is a public project, all up to 10 pipelines can run. But yeah, if we go beyond 10, Again, it, it will say that, hey, uh, it cannot run because we have 10 parallel jobs, right? What I'm continuously doing, I'm running it just to show you continuously pipeline can run. Okay. So you see 10 pipelines are running at the same time. But in the past, we have seen only one by one pipelines were running. Why? Because our project was, if you see the project was in a private state like it's a pri private visibility now it is in a pu public so again if you change to the private and save it and now if you run it it will just wait again i mean let us do this as well just to show you last time that hey how it works now i'm running it again now it became a private project so run the pipeline again So now if you see it keeps on waiting, it will not run until this completes. So because it is now a private project now, it will wait until the first one gets completed. So if you open this, it will state, hey, we are waiting. Um, and the queue we are waiting because you have already reached the parallelism thing because it became a private project. I hope you are understanding this concept. So. For private, we can only run one by one if you haven't purchased the parallel jobs. But for a public, n number of pipe, n number of jobs or pipelines can run. I hope you are enjoying it. And in case you have any questions or any queries, feel free to ask me. I'll be happy to help you.
thank you and have a great day ahead thank you